I got five minutes, five minutes. The KJ, oh, KJ, KJ is not. Don't KJ, fucking it's troll Judge him, Adams. Then, you know. Hey, what's good? What's good? Are you doing all right, right, buddy? You're. Oh, right, we, we, just got, we just got. You're fucked, running. Yeah, from prison. Man. Oh my god, you're yeah. running from yeah. prison. Exactly. Yeah, I got, the, I got the car now. We don't I got the car now. Because we can't do what it's done. Oh, you've got it. You've got a car now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're driving me to the courthouse. I got. We'll be there. Okay. I got four more minutes. I got four more minutes. All right. You said fifteen. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's Terry? Do you know where Terry is? Terry, I, I have no clue. All right, he's probably gonna warrant. All right, cool. See you Drop when you're here. You're right, right, you gonna be good, bro. All right, okay. I, I need to change though. I need to check. I cannot look bro. like this coming up to court, man. Come on. You wanna? T you got time for that, homie? Yes, yeah, yeah, Southside Clothing Store. I cannot look like this. You know, I look like an actual fucking criminal. I'm sorry. I'm here. here he is. Holy up. fuck. We're here. Yo. The ghost room is there, very legal. Oh, you're oh, very well, legal. Well. Oh, you, yes, sir. Uh, look who's finally here. Uh, yo, what's good, your honor? Hey, what's going on, KJ? Hey, nothing uh, much. I, I just want you to know I'm disappointed in you. Why? You knew you had cord and you went to prison. Well, is it, yeah, blame Maple. He used his car to ram me and not ram other cars, all right? No, no, right. not fair, Your um, Honor. He was mowed down like a dog. Yo. Look, a pedestrian. Uh, I mean, crime. You committed a crime. When I say fair, uh, you oh, know, did, did you I... say you committed a crime so you deserve to be mowed down like a dog? Oh, no, no, no. He deserved to go to prison is what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know about the circumstances about what happened before. I just know that, you know, don't do crime before you have court is the mm -hmm. general lesson here. Uh, allegedly. You know, you yeah, may not be guilty. I'm not I guilty. Know. I pled to it, Your Honor. So yeah, you may not be guilty, but yeah. you know, uh, considerations and all that. That said, uh, we're here for the uh, appeal. Uh, this is the state v. Carl Johnny Black, in reference to uh, Incident Report One Five Zero Six. Um. Before I read the statement of claim on the appeal, are there any pretrial motions from either side? None from our side, your honor. Hey, any from the defense? Uh, yeah, hold on. Actually, yeah. Um. Hold on, really cool. so, sorry, one sec. DJ, come here. Don't stand on this side. The cops can hear us speak. Come oh, here. oh, oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of testing in this courtroom. Okay. All right. So um, let me ask you, what's more important to you? Telling your story or or getting the fuck out of here and winning? Getting the fuck out of here and winning. We would like to motion for summary judgment. Uh, on what grounds? Um, on the grounds of, uh, reckless endangerment, not being a charge that was, uh, intended for good Samaritans, uh, when no EMS is available. <laughs> Your Honor, and to review the or... testimony, um, to review the evidence in question underneath the both spirit and the letter of the law. Oh, holy... This sounds like a constructive argument I need to hear throughout the, the throughout the uh, run It was of worth the it to case. try, Norman. It's not my job to uh, say no. It's my job to try for my client and your job yeah, to say that, right? That's, that's going to be overruled at all this right, time. All right, thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, with that out of the way, I'll go ahead and read the statement of claim. You know, Grace, yeah, I just got to try. It's not my job to hey, fucking say no to that. It's my job exactly. to try it up the judge. On January 18th, 2020, yeah, Mr. Oh, Black was it. merely providing an act as a good Samaritan and has been punished by the law for his actions. We asked this court to hear the merits of how this was not the reckless endangerment crime the defendant has been charged with, and to ensure that the reality we live in is not one where no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, KJ, you stand accused of two charges in this matter. I need to enter a plea of either guilty or not guilty to these charges. Uh, to the charge of negligent driving, how do you plead? What do I plead, lawyer? Please. <clears throat> not guilty. Not guilty. Uh, not guilty, Your Honor. Okay, to the charge of uh, reckless endangerment. Not guilty. not guilty, Your Honor. 
Okay. Uh, and just to read out for the court record, are all relevant and summoned parties here present at this time? Uh, Tyron Linkson is not your honor. I have no idea where he is. I do not have his number. Okay. Uh, we've issued several announcements and, and mm -hmm. notices out to him. Uh, we'll give him until the end of are your testimony. Uh, Great, we have a lot of time. To, if he fails to appear, uh, he gets a warrant. Right. And, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. Great. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, perfect. Um, with that read into the record and the plea of not guilty entered by the defendant, um, we'll go ahead and move to opening statements. We'll start with the prosecution. Uh, you're opening when you're ready, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the courts, today, today is a day that will go down in history. I, Officer Aziz Sultan, with the Los Santos Police Department, <laughs> stand by you. And we got one KJ Brett, Carl Johnny. He was charged with reckless endangerment. He was also charged with negligent driving due to his poor driving that took place. And the fact that they had somebody in the trunk of their vehicle with no seatbelt and no way for them to be safe in the vehicle in case an accident takes place. Thank you. Okay. Defense, you're opening. Your Honor, my client was a good Samaritan. He tried to help an individual when there was no one else available to answer the call. This should not be a reckless endangerment charge. The spirit of the law she preserved as much as the letter, if not more. And we asked the court to evaluate the testimony that it will hear today in light of that and are confident that you will find uh, Mr. Black not guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Well said, ma'am. Okay. Always keep op opening arguments uh, short and sweet. You do nice, not want to give it short, all the way. Sweet to, to the, the point. The Fantastic. Prosecution Love that. Of what we're doing. Yes, you know what uh, With that. openings out of the way, we'll go ahead and move over to. Um, to the prosecution. Will you be calling your first witness at this time? Yes, Your Honor, I will be calling myself. Okay. Come on up to the stand. Who's going to be questioning you? So, am I correct? No in... narrative, Norman. Not in a, not in a docketed matter. I can question him, Your Honor. Okay. Am I correct when I'm saying like uh, I will officer, what's your name? Just for the record, agree that he was there and I knew he uh, was there, yeah, to get into the hospital. Into the record at this time. We're trying to get him to the hospital uh, because no hey, 911 came, Gaggle, no, no EMS uh, came. And yeah. Legal types yeah. Out in the gallery. Which one of you wants to be a bailiff? I will. Go for it, Roman. Uh, 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 Do you have a bar license? Uh, Grace no. Daniels, I volunteer Grace. <laughs> Uh, oh, Miss well. Daniels Atlas, you want to be a hey, Daniels be a Atlas? Bailiff? Sure. Come on up. <laughs> For the next contestant. Yeah. Hey, you can do it. You are the bailiff in the Old this school DOJ. Love to see it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and swear the uh, officer Sultan. Officer Sultan, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury up to and including death? So help you a lonely hawk. I do. I do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, uh, the witness has been sworn in. Fantastic. Officer Bell, the floor is yours. All right. Officer Aziz, um... <clears throat> When you pulled over the black Seminole, how did you identify the driver? The driver provided identification after I approached the vehicle, gave me a valid driver's license identifying Carl Johnny Black as the driver of the black and color Seminole. Okay. How did officers find out that there was more than four individuals in the black Seminole that was being driven by Carl Johnny? Absolutely. As I was approaching the vehicle after exiting my cruiser, after calling in the traffic stop that was taking place, after seeing them run through the red light and swerve, I approached, and as I was approaching, somebody yelled, it's not four people, it's five. As they overheard me when I was speaking to the radio, when I relayed over radio that there were four occupants, they corrected me, let me know it was five occupants in a vehicle. 
It carries four individuals. All right. And was the driving through a red light and swerving the only reason for the stop? At the time, for the initial reason for the stop, yes. Which direction was the vehicle headed to? The vehicle was coming southbound on North Rockford Drive, where it crosses over Palomino, where I was sitting. I was parked in the correct lanes headed northbound on Rockford, and I saw them approaching me, coming southbound on Rockford Drive, in a very excessive manner, very fast, swerving, nearly hitting another vehicle, and then running the red light that's by the clothing store off Rockford. And correction, not Palomino. I believe it's Kelly, the road that goes right by the Little Soul apartment. All right. And with your knowledge as a police officer, you felt like this was very ne negligent on the driver? Absolutely. As the driver was swerving, the driver was in high rates of speed. Damn near striking an road. Nearly striking another vehicle that was on the road driving the legal speed limit at the time. They also ran a red light. Therefore, I charge him with the negligent driving as opposed to going each charge individually. Okay. In your testimony just then, you mentioned speed. Do you recall roughly how fast they were going? An approximation based off visual estimation of the speed, I would say in excess of 70, and they started to slow down as they saw my vehicle. Do you have an exact speed at all? I do not. All right. Do you know who the person in the back of the Seminole was? The best of my knowledge right now, I do not. However, I do know that there were five individuals and the vehicle did come back to a Terry Linkston. <laughs> I don't even know who it was. Vehicle, which I extended the courtesy to. Of not getting their vehicle impounded or anything like that. Let him take the vehicle and drive off after Mr. Black is taken into custody. All right, Your Honor, I have no further questions. Uh, Great. Actually, may I speak with counsel first? Sure, you can. You can take a moment to speak with <laughs> uh, your co-counsel there. Shoot, the woman. Officer oh, Lombard. let's see how she is. She, she, she has been a judge. Like this is her playing yeah, field. Not from the asked. stand, you can't. Okay, cross examination. Uh, I just want to be clear, um, officer. You said that you visually clocked the speed. Is that correct? No, I never said I visually clocked them. I said a visual estimation when they were in high. Okay, so a visual yeah. estimation, right? Is that why there is no evidence of their speed in the report? Uh. If you look at the report, there is a AOPR reading of the Seminole that was clocked over speed. However, I don't know what AOPR means. Can you can you define that absolutely. for us? Absolutely. That is our vehicle tracking that gets the radar uh, on the speed. In the report listed in evidence, there was a vehicle that was clocked going 61 miles per hour that comes back to Terry Linkston, which matches the black Seminole that is in question today. However, in my statement, I seen them before I clocked them and I saw them slowing down as mentioned. Was this uh, within city limits? This was within city limits. And okay, thank you. That's all I need. Um, and you also said in your testimony he nearly hit vehicles. Was that correct? He swerved to miss a vehicle, yes. Okay, so he didn't actually hit any vehicles. Instead, he, 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 he actually took the action of avoiding an accident. Is that correct? Of swerving? Yeah, he swerved to avoid an accident. Is that correct? Due to his excessive speed, yes. Okay, okay. So he avoided an accident. Thank you. I um, just want to make sure that was right. Um... Uh, were you able to provide medical services to the person in the trunk? The person in the trunk was not incapacitated. How did you assess that? Because they were able to speak and get up on their own will after being told to exit the trunk. They were inspected, they were looked upon, they never said they were injured, never claimed any injuries were taking place, they did not need medical treatment at the time. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get that back. I, sorry, roll that back. Uh, you were saying that they did not tell you that. You didn't expect them, though. Is that is that correct? I'm sorry. Could you say that again? Did you, as a medical professional, look them over and see whether or not they were injured? I asked them if they needed medical attention. And from my experience, they did not. Is wearing injured. a seatbelt required in Los Santos? 
you mentioned that earlier in your in your testimony. I just want to make sure. I believe wearing uh, a seat belt can save individuals from excessive harm due to speeds and whatnot. Related is that a charge accident. somewhere in the penal code? Were they charged with that? Uh. Yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're, that's part of your rationale that you said for reckless endangerment, officer. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not here to answer questions you are. Um, why did you decide to press reckless endangerment then if seatbelts aren't required or seatbelts are required? I, I'm just, I'm confused. Absolutely. Uh, Where does it say that seatbelts are required over, in the penal code? Which question would you like me to answer? Hold on, yeah, let's let's keep it to one question at a time, Counselor Thoroughbred. I'll answer the reckless I'm sorry, Your Honor, the, 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 the witness addressed me and it started asking me questions. Um, counsel sure. would like to motion for non-responsive. To which portion, specifically? Uh, the Is part where he asked me a question and I want the question well. struck from the testimony. So you want the answer of were they charged to is that a charge? He's like, is, he's, he, when, he, when he asked, oh, he's like, oh, is that what they were charged with or whatever? Um, that's mm. that's like, yeah, like, he can't answer my question with a question. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, yeah, I'm she willing was. to go ahead and strike that. Thank um, you. And then I would motion for non-responsive on his lack of answer. You may re-ask the question. Is wearing a seatbelt required in Los Santos? All right, um, why did you decide to press, press reckless endangerment? Uh, we can't hear, uh, Your Honor, what he's... Absolutely, he, just one moment. He said no to the last question. The new question okay. on the floor Thank is, why did you push reckless endangerment if seatbelts aren't required by law? Thank you. All right. The reason was that the black Seminole was pulled over. Occupants inside the vehicle let me know that it was actually occupied five times as opposed to the initial call that I said that it was occupied four times. The vehicle was spotted headed down southbound on Rockford Drive in an excessive manner, speeding. The vehicle was clocked also at 61 miles per hour, which is listed in evidence. There was an occupant who was in the trunk with no seatbelt laying down in a vehicle that was already heavily damaged, which I'd like to... All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut him off right here. Thank you very much for answering the question. I, I can read the report too. Um, give me one moment. That would have been non-responsible. No, he had to literally go back and read a statement from the report. Yeah, lol, that... lol, it looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask a question? Do you have any questions you want to ask him? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not sure what to ask him. Be honest, ma'am. I'm still trying to get my grasp on the case itself. <laughs> Question. Anything you want to ask? Nah, I think we're pretty good. I don't know. Is there more we can grill him on or no? Maybe. I mean, I already just proved that the seatbelt shit was bullshit yeah. and that was obviously yeah. the thing that was driving him and now he's trying to fall back on just re reading what he had in the report. Yeah. Um, I really don't have anything for him now, so I think I got everything I wanted because I'm making yep. this all about a closing argument. Um, I'm, I'm making a constitutional question about the speed of the law as well as the letter. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no additional questions for the witness at this time, Your Honor. Thank you. Well, then, oh, yeah, great. that, that would have uh, been my Prosecution, question. anything on redirect for this witness? Oh, shoot, we do have redirect. Um, yeah, my apologies, ma'am. You kind of yep. covered everything Thank I was you. thinking of. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I have a habit of doing that. Because if you were good up there, man. He's sweating. You see that? Do you, do you feel do you feel like, uh, uh, like, damn, that's my lawyer right now? Yeah, that's what I feel even right though now. I had a, because... Yeah, even though I had a hard day. Yeah, no, no, you're doing Thanks. fucking good. When they got into the Great. trunk, amazing. I'm a little heated. All right, that's no worries. No questions for you, Your Honor. Okay. Got this. Um, Sultan, you can go ahead and step down, Counselor uh, Thoroughbred. Are you recalling this witness? Uh. <laughs> oh God. You know, um, no, I'm not going to recall the witness. The, the laughter isn't necessary. <laughs> some, I'm sorry, some I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm laughing because no, I don't need to open up. I don't need to open up the. I don't need to do that to him. I, I, I I've done enough. Oh. Give me a second. Sorry, I was laughing at something my client said. 
You have to mention anything further to highlight in evidence or any witness, additional witnesses to call uh, I got, I got a minus order, one. I'd like to highlight Doyer, the evidence that is like listed that. in but the it was report. Worth it. I'd like to direct I got a BM point. Um, do you want to speak one, on, which on the stand? I'm going to tell you right now. You have two choices. You can tell your story if you really feel like you need to. Um, I think it's better. I think it is better for our court case. I think it is better for our court case if you do not speak and we just move straight to closing. We can do that as long as they don't want me up there. If so, I will just answer what they're asking me. Same for you if you need to ask somebody. Already, they seem to front right door. All the windows busted. That. Um, I don't think we should put you up there. Okay, then we don't do it. No, I I follow your lead. You are. This is your room. This is your arena. Thank you. We have one, but it doesn't extend to beyond the work vehicle. Defense. My client is not going to be speaking on his own behalf. We obviously don't have Terry, but um, we don't need to highlight evidence or um, testimony. We're ready to move straight into closing. Fantastic. So the defense then yeah. uh, does not present a case they were Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're just, we just, you know, we, we, we just did what, what do you mean? We still presented a case. Well, you haven't presented any witnesses for the court. Like that, right? right no we're not presenting any witnesses no no okay. we just we just crossed the um prosecution's witness that's all understood uh with that then i suppose we segue right into a uh, closing statement do we need a minute to prepare closings in this matter i am ready she already prepared this just one moment your honor right. you need you need five to get a closing together i'll be able to get it uh i Ladies and gentlemen God of the court. It. Okay. God damn it. All right, here we go. I, as he so can believe here today, an act of reckless endangerment. But not today. It took place, whatever this incident took place, with Mr. K.J. Black being in the driver's seat of the vehicle, transporting somebody in the trunk of the vehicle. <laughs> we love us, he's Which right. is not a dedicated position to place somebody in a vehicle. Most vehicles have seats for people to sit. Some SUVs can occupy seven people. Because they have seats in the back. I believe Mr. KJ Black truly did. Whether through his negligence or the intent was not there, he was endangering that man's life as they were in the trunk of the vehicle because of the excessive nature of speeding that took place. And I would also like, ladies and gentlemen of the courts, six this months was prior over, over the, to current the speed speed limit. legislation that took place. Yeah. And this was well within city limits. Clocked at 61. Right and it was after they slowed down. That is all, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you, Officer Sultan. Defense, when you're ready. Your Honor, the city has decided that a 55 mile per hour speed limit is perfectly safe to drive within city limits. Uh, when the alternative to God. helping somebody uh, who could be left stranded on the side of the road filled with murder kitties, all right? Um, when the alternative uh, to helping such an individual could lead to their death, what sort of reality does this court want for the citizens of Los Santos? Do we want to ordain that people should be left behind? Do we want people to look the other way from those in need in the streets? We as a society are judged by how we treat the meek, the sick, the injured, and the have-nots the quote-unquote least of us, not the richest, not the most upstanding, not the people it is easy to be nice to because nobody cares about doing the easy thing. Should this court decide helping an individual should be a criminalized action, then we will no longer have kindness when the ex exact sort of kindness can be the difference between life and death. Finding my client guilty means that we as a society are choosing death. With that, we humbly ask you to evaluate the circumstances in light of the testimony heard today. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep this simple. Uh, and this is a fairly simple verdict to read out, in my opinion. Um, go ahead and, uh, and read that out here for you now. Should be not guilty. <clears throat> An appeal has been brought forward on the grounds per the defense that the prosecution have, quote, criminalized an act of a good Samaritan and to, quote, ensure that the reality that we live in is not one where no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, that said, this good Samaritan act has not really been detailed. 
I'm not certain what good or heroic that was being engaged in at the time. There were vague assertions that EMS may have not been available, but no evidence was presented that anyone was injured or in need of emergent medical care. Um, but at the same time, I don't really think any of that matters. I think this matter, honestly, is quite simple. Uh, the actions in question took place on January 18th, 2024. Our speed limits were updated on January 27th, and the vehicle in question is clearly marked in evidence as being clocked at traveling 61 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. This is clear third degree speeding by prior statutes, and the swerving and red light that was run do more than enough to raise this to negligent driving. Uh, Mr. Black, the charge for negligent driving will be held, and the appeal for that will be denied this time. Uh, this court, however, is not particularly interested in criminalizing people who choose to place themselves in the trunk of a vehicle. There we go. Uh, especially when we employ sanitation workers in the state and allow them to hang off of the back of a trash truck where they're susceptible to grave injury and death. No testimony has been given that Mr. Langston was forced to ride in the trunk. That's all we wanted. That's Rather, it sounds wanted. and reads as though the occupants of all due consent were aware of any potential risk for doing so. We're doing a great job. Uh, should there have been any form of an accident, accidents can take place no matter what your seated position in the vehicle may be. Uh, given that understanding, I'm going to be granting the appeal for the charge of reckless endangerment. Uh, Mr. Black, you can go ahead and approach the bench and provide your bank uh, your bank account ID, and you'll be reimbursed the $500 for that charge. The Woo! charge will be removed from your record. Uh, this matter is hereby adjourned. Hey, thank you so much, Your Honor. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all we wanted. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yay. We did it.